Welcome to Mess of Beers. My name is Matt. We do beer stuffs here. We do new beer stuffs here from time to time. Local beer stuffs in the form of alternate ending brewing. Yeah, this is their Willie's Gold. Gotta love the Goonies references. Um, yeah, uh, this is a double decocted Hellas Lager. Alternate ending. Have not been to the brewery. They do a lot of lagers. Been wanting to kind of go there, but you know, pandemic kind of hard and um they're out in a stretch of jersey i don't get to that all that often aberdeen is where they're located which is kind of like um up in the highlands kind of close to carton brewing but um they're really close to pnc art center and i had a couple concerts kind of booked and i'll be like okay now i'm definitely gonna go just kind of next them because of code and stuff like that but um lo and behold i found this on a shelf um i did not check the date on this this actually does have a date of 614 so we're talking about five months then. Now, it's a Hellas Lager. I think we'll be all right. Uh, Alternating Brewing Company. Um, Willie stole the Hobbit's gold, but he got it back with the help of the Goonies. That's kind of funny, the old Sean Austin thing. Um, 5.1% alcohol by volume. Don't I don't. Let's see how this sucker shows and proves. You know, I don't think I don't think time. Five months? Five months. On a, a decocted lager. Hellas. Well, Sweet, delicious Hellas Lager, hopefully. So I actually do dig the art. You have uh, Sean Austin as the Hobbit, Sean Austin as the Goonies guy. Um, yeah, gold on black always serves me proper. And as far as that beer looks, it has that subtle kind of haziness that you come to expect from a clap brewery that doesn't like hyper centrifuge kind of filter all out all their stuff definitely has that kind of hellas kind of color to it pinky finger just barely 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 off white head it's good nose i mean there's this like rich maltiness that is is a elevated above toastiness but stops short of like a caramel kind of thing somewhere flirting between those two a soft almost like subtle like pepperiness to it i guess actually not much as far as hops to speak of it really is kind of malt driven as you come to expect from a hellas lager especially a double decocted one and just comes off as this rich bolder yet drinkable because it has this kind of crispness to it this kind of crackery flakiness to it on top of that kind of little elevated kind of maltiness that lends itself to being something that's just drinkable five and change certainly is but also big let's see if that shows true cheers y'all Yeah, this is pretty much like a testament to malt in uh, lagered malts or malted or lagers. Malts and lagers. Words are hard. Because it does have this kind of inherent drinkability to it. It's super drinkable. But there's also this cool trick where it's playing this kind of heavy hand in a malt game. There's a bitterness here. It's rather generic. There's nothing here outside of a yeast cleanliness. There's nothing there as far as yeast personality. It really is driving home. Um, like we're showcasing them all here, which makes sense with the double decoction. And the nose is almost perfectly in line with the way it kind of drinks. And that it is that elevated above a toasted crackery maltiness, but not getting deep or heavy into a bigger kind of caramel maltiness. It's kind of this, um, it's like a two-row combo with a um, oh, Hermaris Ottery kind of thing going on there, where it's kind of just flirting between those two worlds in a very, very tasty way. You know, a lot of these kind of heavier uh, malt forward kind of um, lagers, Hellas lagers, can kind of flirt and kind of dance around Baki territories, and sometimes they blur the lines between those two things. This is definitely not the case here. This is definitely not just a... A regular Hellas, there's a beefier richness to this, but it's definitely falling short of a bigger lager, like Baki kind of lager. And it's really cool that it's pulling off that trick, that it's it's flirting in between the two, but it's being infinitely distinctive in that it is just a richer, uh, fuller version of a Hellas, while at the same time, again, retaining that drinkability. I could drink 40 of these. And this is really, really nice. And it's honestly probably one of the biggest, or that's not the right word, one of the most kind of confident would probably be the best word I could do it, 
confident malt forward beers that I've had in quite some time. You know, there is, you know, the lager yeast plays a role here, obviously. That's what lends its drinkability. There is a bittering here, but it definitely takes a back seat, a very relatively quiet back seat to the malt. And it's very hard for malt driven beers like this to really, really shine. For me, not so much, but for a lot of people, you know, they it's just, you know, that's kind of, I don't want to say, well, it's a negative, but I think a lot of people you drink this, they go, wow, man, this is really, really, really good. Even though it lacks those two big components that modern beer leans infinitely heavily into, and malt kind of takes that back seat, well, it's not. It's in the driver's seat here, and it shows up super duper tasty, super well. Lager thrown through, big decoction kind of richness, drinkability, the whole package. Is this one of the better lagers of as of late? Yes, it's Mount Rushmore status, actually. Even being five months old, ooh. Um, it is absolutely delicious. I'm glad I picked it up, to be honest with you. Very tasty beer. Now I just have to go to alternate ending because time, I put it off long enough, finally had one of their beers, and they're delicious. So now I go. That's what happens, though. So, yeah, that's it. That's all you get. It's delicious beer, Mount Rushmore status for the lager game, especially in that kind of malt showcase -y kind of, you know, hellacy bigger lager game um and by bigger i mean like five and change um talk about it have you been an alternate ending have you had their beers what do you think of their beers have you had this batch have you had this beer let's talk about it down there there you go again. guys gals and everybody in between hopefully you enjoyed i did and uh, yeah hopefully see you next time cheers y'all